I'm here at Triumph today to have a look at two motorcycles of a difference. We've looked at touring bikes, adventure bikes, super bikes, but these two beautiful bikes behind me here today are something slightly different. These are bikes and an offering by Triumph to get you into motorcycling. Whether you're a novice, never ridden before, you want to get into motorcycling, or you have been off a motorcycle for many years and you want to get back into it. Triumph, as they do, have a standard platform and offer you two different offerings, very different, very different looks and feel, yet it's a bike that has that British feel, has the superior quality and unique British. It looks cool, it has that cool factor and it doesn't intimidate you. It's not a scary bike or intimidating bike and it gets you back into the motorcycle lifestyle. And another thing is, even if you have a bike in the garage, maybe one of these two is a perfect commuter as a second bike. Let's review them in detail, have a look at them individually and see how they perform. Let's start off with a bike on my right here. This silver and red one is the Triumph Trident 660. And as it says, it's a 660cc inline triple, liquid cool, 12 valve with a six speed box final drive chain. The tank capacity on this bike is 14 liters. The seat height is an exceptionally low 805 millimeters, which is really cool if you're a shorter person, five foot in that. And the weight is really cool at 189 kilograms nice light nimble low center of gravity the suspension is an upside down shower front fork non-adjustable at the rear you have a single shower with preload adjustable brakes is nissan with abs up front abs nissan rear at the back as well tires are light alloy wheels front and back 17 inch shot with a 120 in front and a 180 at the rear horsepower on this motor is 81 horsepower 10250 rpms with a 64 newton meter at 6200 rpms really cool because you have 90 percent of that torque available through most of the torque uh, rev range from 3000 to 9000 so really great and high torque means less gear changes which is really great for commuting also for novices to get into it and not panic to be working out in which gear you should be in and this bike will also break the 200 kilometer an hour barrier so even once you get more proficient and you're more comfortable you will not get left behind and be dragging around at the back having a look at its sibling it is the triumph tiger sport 660 and as per the trident it has exactly the same motor 660cc inline triple liquid cooled it is a six speed box and final drive chain the fuel tank capacity on this one is a little bit more being the more touring styled one the trident has 14 liters this has 17.2 liters seat height on this one the trident is 805 this is 835 so just an inch higher or so weight is up a little bit as well to 206 kilograms same suspension upside down showers which is unique for its class here nissan front nissan back brakes with abs front and rear also the same wheels and rims 17 inch front and rear shot with a 120 and a 180 horsepower again 81 at 10250 64 newton meter at 6250 so really cool options stunning looking bike the tiger sport is available in three different colors and the trident is available in four different colors 
having a look at this display it's not TFT it's more of an LCD display with a white on the back background and if you look at these controls very simple neat clean if you look over here you push over here and you pick up your rider mode here we are on road mode and you can switch to rain and back to road mode and you engage really great looking clocks not what we are used to when it comes to entry-level bikes now if we have a look at the dashboard of the Tiger Sport very similar look and feel and you have the same road mode and you can switch to rain mode today is a beautiful day so we're going to leave it in road mode and just enjoy our riding what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to jump on the Triumph Trident 660cc it is Triumph's uh, entry into the middleweight roadster category and I just love this this look about it the big graphics on the silver tank the red accents to it it just looks cool it looks great it looks aggressive it does look bigger than a 660cc and it just has that British flair to it and I can't wait to ride this thing love the exhaust down at the bottom low slung really great when I come back what we'll do is we'll jump on the Triumph Tiger Sport also really cool bike it has a little bit of the 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 Tiger 900 1200 look about it so if you want to get into a uh, adventure riding you're an uh, aspiring adventure rider this is definitely a good offering for you and I can't wait to jump on this bike afterwards so I think let's get cracking with the Trident this bike feels super nimble it really when you pick it up off the side stand you don't fully appreciate how light this bike is and really comfortable pull off slipper clutch assist there's no lag it comes on soft nothing snatching about it you've got good control nice torque as you can see just roll it on I must say first impressions really fun bike comfortable seating position I am as mentioned before six foot and I'm reviewing, the, reviewing this bike from an enthusiast point of view now as an enthusiast we love biking we love everything about biking and it's how the bike makes you feel and this bike just it's great I'm comfortable I'm sitting neutral there's no weight on the palms of my hands no weight on my lower back nothing on my forearms there's no wind deflection to speak of but this is not a bike to go and break the sound barrier and tuck down that's when you get a super bike this is a fun bike that you just tackle the twisties a little bit aggressive like a naked and it's it's a minimalistic bike it's it's such a nice balance value for money you have everything you need you have two rider modes you have road and rain and you have traction control which you can switch off if you want to misbehave a little bit a really fantastic clock as you scroll through all the information you want is there and you're just sitting in such a neutral position you can ride all day and be comfortable you can commute go down to the shops get a liter of milk quickly you can ride to work on a nice sunny day or on a Sunday afternoon quickly go out with the boys Sunday morning go for a breakfast run yet you can also get a bit sporty there's nice torque and power on tap here the pegs are nice and high so it gives you confidence to throw it into a bend and here we just chuck it to the outside of it and run around the outside there's plenty power on tap here the way the power comes on is the beauty on this motor this inline triple by triumph it's not a noisy bike at all i prefer louder pipes because loud pipes save lives however for you to get into biking you don't want to have this hectic noise that's interfering and all of that 
so it is it's a really cool sound hardly any vibration you get a little bit of vibration you can actually uh, feel it through your foot pegs when it's time to change gears even you don't even have to look at the clock and it's just love this package the handlebars are slightly raised good controls as mentioned the brakes they're not top quality Brembo's but then value for money you're also not trying to stop 250 kilos and you're also not trying to stop it or slow it down from 300 kilo, uh, kilometers per hour so these are definitely for the, the middleweight category good good equipment good brakes also the shower suspension really good equipment and as you can see in traffic it's a comfortable little bike you can roll it on and catch some speed brakes definitely stopping power there so I must say I'm enjoying this little package when you're riding it you feel it's not a liter bike it doesn't have that grunt that if you drop the clutch it's going to stand up and scare you and high side you throw you off the bike so really confidence inspiring when i stop over here you will see i can get both feet flat on the ground i'm stopping now if you look a foot flat knees bent foot flat knee bent really good riding position i'm sitting upright and bike looks great it feels great it's nice and slim around the tank here the seat height as mentioned 805 nice and low the weight 189 kilograms so what more do you want is really a comfortable comfortable bike it's nippy as you can see when you ask a little bit off the throttle it does give it to you I don't know if you can hear that but that triple sound is just beautiful it's such a Moto 2 sound iconic and you know as an entry-level bike to have that is just fantastic and again I have to compliment Triumph on the build quality it's a solid bike really solid little thing shooting around town, darting in and out of traffic, commuting. You can definitely travel on this bike for quite some distance without getting fatigued. The seat is firm, but the combination of the rear suspension and the seat just makes it feel good. If you lean back, how's this for a beautiful cockpit? Beautiful sight and just nipple bike, playful, very playful bike. As mentioned minimalistic you have what you need not too much info also when you're getting back into biking or you're a novice biker you don't want five six rider modes you don't want onboard computers that confuse you you want to get back into riding you want to focus on honing your skills and the basics so you have something to help you when the roads are wet or slippery with a rain mode everything is there the build quality is there the brakes are exceptionally good for this package in my opinion the ABS front and back also nowadays be essential it's all there it all works super well the the clock is besides very functional it's very pretty modern and funky and I like the triumph spin on it they're not all these big rectangular displays TFTs like all the bikes have nowadays triumph has gone a little bit unique with it and and I really like that it's it's that individual feel and look and and that's what's so nice when you get a bike like this you are entering the biking lifestyle with something unique special and really pretty now as mentioned 
This is the Triumph Trident 660. It is Triumph's middleweight roadster category entrant. And there's three significant advantages to this bike. Number one, it's unique triple engine and performance for an entry level bike like this. It has class leading technology and it's incredible price competitiveness for what you get. It's unbelievable. Now, having a look at this engine, what we said, you have an inline triple that Moto 2 sound of Triumph. It 80 horsepower, 81 horsepower, and 64 newton meter, which is really, really nice. And that 64 newton meter, 90% peak torque available through most of the red range, rev range from about 3,000 all the way through. So really great for using for a novice. You don't have to do so many gear changes. You have the slip assist clutch, and as mentioned, that unique triple sound really fun and i must say i enjoy it now when it comes to class leading technology you have roan and road and rain rider modes and gone in the past you wouldn't have electronic rider modes for novice and entry level bikes you have switchable traction control you have ride by wire throttle you have the really great lcd and color display all led lighting and abs front and rear I'm actually very excited and interested to see how the Tiger Sport compares to this because like I mentioned same motor same everything you have a bigger tank more fuel range you have wider handlebars yes you have a longer swing arm and slightly different geometry about it but ultimately the, the same package so this to me is how do you fault a bike like this? I really don't know. It's gearbox is not notchy, not clunky. It's it's not too smooth, so you don't know in what gear you're in. It's very positive. You know when you're in. It's not difficult to find neutral. So it's just it works. Everything works so well, and in a very simple, positive manner. So you you really don't have to uh, rely on feel or experience. It's just, as you ask it, it does. There's an immediate difference getting onto this Tiger Sport 660 and you definitely feel like you have the adventure riding style on this bike. Um, it is a sport tourer but the seating position is definitely adventure style. So really fun I must say and you do notice the uh, 30 millimeter higher or just over an inch higher seating position you're definitely sitting on top of this bike more than with the trident but not too high in any way at six foot I get both feet firmly on the ground as you can see sporty motor and really that 660 motor is perky it runs and feels good I would just love to hear that triple inline sound a little bit louder but those are all aftermarket things you can do when fine-tuning your bike As you can see if I just stop here foot is flat on the floor be knees bent and sitting on top this screen is in the lower position just pulling it up here you can get in the higher position I think it's six little notches you get it into and this Tiger Sport you get in three different colors the silver this maroon red and the metallic blue the dash information 
very similar to the Trident, slightly different layout, more in a half moon, the other one was round. The weight is slightly higher on this because this is more geared for your sport touring so you can actually fit pannier bags to this Tiger Sport. As you can see, pull off, easy, lane splitting, easy. The motor is just so sweet, so sweet. I can immediately tell you these both these options are very practical bikes. I think this would be more of a bike if you don't have another motorcycle in the garage. This would be a bit of an all-rounder that you can commute to work and back with and also do the weekend away with pannier bags and that. The Trident is more of a if you have an existing bike in the garage and you would like a second bike for commuting and just going up and down thrashing it around a bit that is a fantastic bike to have the, the throttle response just as you roll on there's definitely power and if you can run over 200 kilometers an hour what more do you want it's more than enough to get you into jail and into trouble but just to sit upright like this commute hold on get through that traffic light leaning back have a look at this package look how stable this is look how stable the rearview mirrors are nothing shaking just perfect the display on the clock you can also toggle through you can see your gear fifth gear sixth gear you can change it just all round this is not the type of bike we started as our first motorcycle 30 years ago entry into motorcycling middleweight sport tour a fantastic option definitely reminiscent gives you a little bit of that triumph tiger 900 triumph tiger 1200 feel uh, you can see it's first generation if you want to get into adventure riding be an adventure rider this is definitely a type of bike you get onto this bike not really that hardcore uh, adventure bike a couple of reasons the suspension is not totally suited for it it has 150 mil travel you've got excellent ground clearance however you have a 17 inch front wheel which is not ideal for really doing a lot of off-road but gravel roads thrashing around this one will definitely work and you can get the feel of adventure riding and grow into the bigger adventure bikes but here the braking strong really good braking the power delivery is there the bike is 206 kilograms so power to weight ratio is definitely good enough as with the trident not scary in any way smooth i must say everything is smooth on this one the clutch operation i would say is a little bit heavier i don't know if it's just my opinion giving you some up the hill you can definitely see this bike can run they no slouches it's not like a old mule that you have to wrestle it is sporty it's perky obviously if you're going on the highways with super bikes you will be left behind but that's not what this sport tour is about fantastic good handling good ground clearance you're really not sitting cramped on this bike you're sitting on top i'm sitting very upright wind protection is very good on this bike even in the lower position as the screen is now and once again if i pull that up the wind protection is fantastic i don't have a buff on it feels great however the sportier down position i would say is ample today for me 
and I think this is a perfect bike to take your missus on the back and be two up on a weekend. Now back in the 90s, Triumph took an interest in the adventure bike market and since then they have produced some really exquisite and interesting adventure bikes and the latest rendition we've reviewed the Triumph Tiger 1200s, the GTs and the rallies, unbelievable, unbelievable machines. Now here you have the middle bait entrant if you want to call it. It is styled according to an adventure bike however it's more of a sport touring bike and like I said now now the limitations being the 17 inch wheel up front and the suspension only 150 mil travel showers. Not perfect for it but it's definitely a starter adventure bike if you want to get into adventure biking. You got the look, you got the feel, you got the pose and really an entry point to its larger siblings the tiger 900 and tiger 1200 as mentioned adventure styled it's comfortable it's practical it's really enjoyable over long distances it is so comfortable i can tell you that and the engine is unbelievable i love this speed triple the torque the quick shifting the higher the torque the less the gear changes so it's really a comfortable bike also for commuting it's it's really practical and it's a whole lot of fun now the difference here is the frame is new sturdier and longer subframe to the trident so a little bit different to the trident this bike's competition would be the kawasaki versus 650 the suzuki v-strom 650 the bmw f850 ktm 890s and the mto7 yamaha so but i think triumph have got winners in these two there are two bikes that are so different yet so much the same based on the same platform with that beautiful 660 inline triple motor yet totally different styling totally different feeling when riding it this uh, tiger sport has longer suspension to the trident it has wider bars it has a larger tank at 17.2 liters so more fuel range the upper fairing um, to help you take the edge off off the wind it is a great commuter it's super practical this bike is a real all-rounder you have as per the trident the slip assist clutch the clutch is super light you also have the road and the rain mode you have this the switchable traction which you can switch off if you want to go on a gravel road and the ground clearance the foot pegs are high enough the seat height is not too high but really all round a superb package powder weight ratios there the feel the handling and a crossover between sport tourer with adventure styling i must say i really enjoy it i think it's a fantastic machine and just a few things that are additional on this uh, extras you have the bobbins on the forks at the bottom you have the spots over here and you have the the indicators let me quickly switch them on for you if you see the indicator directional indicator so many accessories to spec on this bike but as mentioned the trident you have four color options on this tiger sport three color option the blue silver and this red this tiger sport is just as nimble as the trident it feels great the main difference between these two is you're sitting higher up on the bike, you're off the road, you definitely have that ability, capability to stand and commute if you've been sitting for a while. If I were to stand up here, I can stand comfortably, look down and I'm not bent over standing upright. Really good position. The handlebars come up, you've got handlebar rises. It's a proper adventure bike styling but aimed at more of the sport touring it's such a stunning crossover i don't know what to call it me i would most probably be the knucklehead and take this as a full adventure bike because it just feels so capable and it, the stance the position the riding position it's just it feels like such a competent adventure bike and all rounder you thrash it around the gravel road and on long weekends you put the panniers on and you take the missus with on the back and you go for a long weekend away i hope you enjoyed this comparison of triumph's two offerings for 
the novices entries into the biking or bikers who've had a long layoff or lady bikers bikes that really are confidence inspiring that have all the ingredients to make you the best rider possible and feel, make you feel comfortable on a motorcycle now you have the triumph trident 660 and the triumph tiger sport 660 both are super huge value for money they are classy bikes awesome build quality have technical features and safety equipment on it and just have that british flair fantastic looking bikes you will enjoy these bikes and i hope you enjoyed the review and it helps you make up your mind please remember guys push that like button give me a thumbs up and if you don't mind hit that subscribe button to help me build the channel and if you like that reminder bell so you always know when i'm uploading the latest videos